Good morning and welcome back to Steph's Vlogs. Mochi is eating out of our slow feeder. This thing I should have bought a long time ago because it actually is taking her like the right amount of time to eat it. Her, she's like, where's my food? Why does she get to eat four times and I only get to eat twice? Unfair. <laughs> Here she. You look big though. You don't you don't need four meals. <laughs> I give you lots of treats, right? You're cute. No, but she's a healthy girl. So the last vlog, you guys saw my stinky comforter. Which that was actually yesterday. And yeah, I, I can't do it any longer. I was shopping on Target's website and I found a few that I liked, but I'm gonna just go there because I do have a return anyways. So we're changing that and it's it's gotta go. But we're gonna start the vlog off with an outfit of the day. So this is a new sweater I got from Abercrombie. It's really cute. I like it a lot. It's got three buttons, but I just have it tucked in. Um, let me see what the tag says. It's called. Doesn't say. And then these are the pants I also got. I got a fresh pair of jeans and they're so cute. So they do like the little crisscross design in the front, which I really, really like and find it very comfy. And I feel like they just like fit really, really good. Abercrombie's jeans are my absolute favorite, which I need to take the tags off. I will, don't worry. I'm going to use scissors because I don't want to rip the stuff because I feel like lately when I cut tags off or rip them off, I rip the stuff. I did that with my brand new Lululemon leggings. I put a little hole. I must just be that strong. <laughs> no, not really though. I also need my nails done. I have a lot of returns to do. I have a little scab on my lip. I have a very bad habit of picking at my lips. I make my lips like bleed. I pick at them and I like physically can't stop doing it. Everyone has like habits like that. Like it's like biting your nails but I like to pick my lips or pick out my eyelashes. It's bad but when I get fake nails I don't do it as much but see now that I have a bare fingernail out it's easy to pick so mm -mm. I need my nails thick and non-usable. Ooh, I just mukbanged and I'm full. <laughs> I'm so full. I'm like packing everything up so I can eat it later. And I'm like debating on if I'm gonna get my nails done. I like don't wanna go at all. Like why do I dread it so much? But then like, it obviously looks amazing. Like I, I love having my nails done. I just don't like sitting there for like an hour and a half. Like I wish I could, I could just drop off my hands at the nail salon and go pick them up later. I wish. I like my nail salon doesn't have a TV or they don't play music really at all. Like it's just quiet. Why won't this shut? Got everything loaded up finally. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hold off on the nails just because I've already been gone an hour and the shopping's gonna take like another hour. So I hate like leaving my dogs long. So I try and just like split up all my errands so I'm not gone for more than like three hours. Which I won't be, but look how cute this squishmallow is. I'm so tempted to get it. But like also I don't need another little snow cone. Okay, we made it to the comforters. We want to get this brand. I think I might just get another white one. You know? It looked so good. What do we think about this one? It has like some texture in it. Like a light, light gray. Um, I think this one's cute. Very simple. I wanted to get like new pillows too, but they don't have that many. And then the ones that I do like, they only have one of. Like I really like this fuzzy one. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I guess I could always order another one online and just get one. Um, are these like cozy for on top of a bed? Because I do kind of like that. That would be comfy. Or I could do a pop of color and do like this rust color. Because other than my room being gray, and my headboards are kind of like a grayish purple though. I don't think that'll match. What about these ones? Okay, I got all new bedding and pillows and even a blanket for the top. Look how cute. I'm excited. I think this gray will match. I sure hope so because to return all of this, at that point, it's matching. I mean, I guess the only thing that wouldn't match is really like the pillows or the blanket. 
but I think it'll match and this is gonna look good. Definitely better than that other one. I still need to return that one, but then I'll get at least like a discount off this stuff. Okay, so my target is slightly close to crumble cookies, so I had to try this week's cookies out. Even though I'm so full, I just had a bite of each one, but you know, I'll save them for like later and tomorrow. I usually just like nibble on them like as the week goes on, but let me show you. So, I already tried them. If you wanna see me try them, go over to my TikTok. But there's peanut butter cup, rocky road, lemon cheesecake, and confetti cake. Guess which one's my favorite below, if you have not seen my video yet. <laughs> all right, we are home, and I'm gonna put all of this on my bed, and we'll see what it looks like. Here we go, and we're done. What do we think? I really like it. I like the new gray pillows. I still have my old white pillows up there, and then the white fluffy one, and then this this knitted blanket is so big. Like I really like that because I usually use a blanket also with my comforter just because I am always cold. So there we go, and the color of this gray matches perfectly with the blinds. Like look how perfect. So there is the finished bedroom update so here's the disaster gaming room as of right now there's still a couple big boxes downstairs but this is the butcher block i've been sharing this on snapchat if you don't already have me on there but it is just a light wood butcher block six feet it'll go from there to about where that nightstand ends so it doesn't get too close to the door that's where i wanted it to end um, there used to be a bed right here with the nightstand, so that's why there's a nightstand. Um, so there's a butcher block, and then it's going to be two Alex Ikea drawers below. And if you don't know what an Alex Ikea drawer is, it is this. But it's going to be a miniature version, obviously, not as tall. Which I guess now that I think about it, well, it's too late now. I guess I could have made my desk, like, bigger and put it on this wall that's bigger. I guess I could have did that. <laughs> I mean, six feet is big no matter what. So even if I centered it on this wall, um, then just have like this as a backdrop and I could put the dresser over there. I'm thinking about putting this dresser in the other room um, and just decorate the top of this dresser. Then I have like cool lights and stuff. So if I were to be streaming right now, is this a better backdrop? with a white desk behind me and like cool lights or is this a better backdrop it's like a bigger wall but it's not symmetrical with the window shoot I guess I could have did a bigger desk I mean honestly it doesn't really matter six feet is still a very big desk the one I have right now is four feet it's just a fold-up table but that does like hold my monitors like it doesn't need to be like obnoxiously huge you know yeah it's just like because I'm like really like custom building it like the size of the butcher block is what makes a difference and I did it the perfect size to fit this wall but I think I actually like the other wall better I think I do so I have this really cool light that changes colors and I could just put it like smack dab in the middle and then I have these like cool rainbow stick lights that I could just put on each side or something and then cute decorations on the desk and I'll probably take that down. Well, when I get all this set up, yeah, that makes so much more sense to do it that way. Because then I can just put, like, I can leave those up there or change them to, like, gaming covers. Because if I'm streaming and that's all the way in the background, like, it's going to be blurred out and you won't be able to really even see it. Like, you just will see, like, the lights and stuff. So then I don't have to take all those down. That makes more sense. All right, well, got that figured out, and I think my friend might be coming over sometime this week to help me out. Um, so once the gaming room is done, I will be sure to do a video and show you guys. Well, guys, I'm going to end off this vlog right here. I hope you all are enjoying all these vlogs. This is the fourth one, I believe, or fifth one. I've been posting a lot of vlogs so far this year, but I hope you guys are enjoying them, and if you want to see me do anything... Let me know down below. Bye, guys.